Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up this week. In Barbados, the five-year-old Aries not only makes the Garrison Savannah handicap look easy, he also gives trainer Kenny John a second straight win in this event. No stopping the cold rhythm buzz in Saturday's Henry Jagai Memorial feature at Jamaica's Caymanus Park on an afternoon that saw leading jockey Tevin Foster on a four-timer. And Barbadian Savage Joseph Jr. speeding toward a ninth consecutive Gulfstream Park trainer's title. Plus the weekly check-in on Caribbean success on the North American continent, our opening story from Barbados. After three scratches, only six starters in Saturday's Garrison Savannah handicap feature, but a competitive looking field parading here just before post. Melrose Racing's five horse, Mirror of the Sky, assumed the favorite tag. A seven time winner last year, but winless from two starts so far this year. Multiple champion jockey Rashid Hughes up for trainer Remel Lavelle. There's the field, number one Aries, a 2022 Triple Crown Series contender, a joint 5-2 second favorite. The code is in the two box, by far the longest shot in the field at 14-1. to one. Dancing Prospector, number three is at 8-1. Eight 8-5 to one. Eight to five on the favorite, number five, Mirror of the Sky, whose stable mate is beside him in the sixth box, Run By You, a St. Lucia shipper who had raced extensively in the USA with three wins at Delta Downs and Louisiana Downs. This 10-year-old gelding is at 5-2. And in the 8 box is another US bred Tough Rags, a 7-2 bet with eight-time Barbados champion jockey Anderson Tom Trotman aboard. Let's get the race call now. Neil Gill watching them in the 7.8 furlong trip. And away they go. And it is a pretty decent beginning by them all. As they leave the shoot, come on to the main course for the first time. It is run by you, who's being tackled by Dancing Prospector. In the middle of the course is Tough Rags. Then between horses is Aries. Then comes Mirror of the Sky, and the court is your back marker. That's the way the race as they thunder under the line for the first time. And it is Dancing Prospector on a tight hole. Going a little bit wide was run by you, who does come back on into the rails. In third position is Tough Rags. Anderson Trotman is already scrubbing this one to get, keep in contention. In fourth position is Aries. They've gone on about a length clear of Mirror of the Sky, who is another length clear of the code. That's the way the race as they begin the journey down the back stretch. And Dancing Prospector is in front just by about three parts of a length. On the inside, these ones, you can see that one is um, run by you. Going on the outside is Tough Rags. They're going now by about three lengths now to Aries, who's now being asked for more run. Mirror of the Sky is struggling a bit at this moment, and the code would have a lot to do, as they've done the opening quarter in 24 and 3, 49 and 2 for the half. That's the way they race as they come to the quarter pole. And Tough Rags is the one who leads now, just by about three parts of a length. On the inside still is run by you, coming by you on the outside. Here goes Aries who sweeps on by. So it's Aries who's picking them up. Inside the final for them they come. And it's Aries in front by about a length. Two, three, and those widening now. Will win this one easily as he wishes Aries. Wins it by about four or five lengths comfortably. Just two right-hand cracks of the whip early in the home stretch, then just the hand ride from St. Lucian jockey Eric Daniel. Aries has no challengers in deep stretch. A fifth win in 19 lifetime starts this for Aries, who was second in the 2022 Barbados Derby to Triple Crown winner Hurricane. A second win in a row for trainer Kenny John, this in the Garrison Savannah Handicap, having scored last year with Rapunzel's Dream. Margot Atkinson's Aries by six and a half lengths in the Garrison Savannah Handicap as a 5-2 to two bet, chased by the favorite Mirror of the Sky with Tough Rags third. One minute 35 and three-fifths the winning time for 7.8 furlongs on the Garrison turf. In Jamaica, Saturday's card was highlighted by the Henry Jagai ODJP trophy over six furlongs, honoring the former champion breeder and Hall of Fame inductee. 13 horses face the starter, including last year's champion three-year-old Philly Mamma Mia with Robert Halladine aboard, first out of the starting gates, but being hassled on the lead by KP Choice and Ultimate Machine. These three now abreast as they charge down the far side. Volatility is three lengths further back, overtaken by Rhythm Buzz. Wall Street Trader making progress on the outside. Rani Bangala races up with the band and take a punt. Taurus Boy runs the rail as they leave the half mile marker and make their way into that turn. Power racing on the outside of take a punt. Taurus Boy has now been shuffled right back through the field, overtaken by Big Big Daddy as they charge past the three. Up front, 
The war continues. KP Choice. There is Wall Street Trader, the first time runner in Jamaica. In the red silks now coming through to grab that lead. Mamma Mia chasing on his outside, but they're into it now. A quarter of a mile to go. Wall Street Trader, just the leader from KP Choice. Rhythm Buzz searching for room down against the rail and has to be switched to find it. Mamma Mia is trying to kick in on the outside. Wall Street Trader in between horses. Here is Rhythm Buzz now kicking in on the outside. And Rhythm Buzz points over the foreigner. Wall Street Trader who is fighting right Right back it is Rhythm Buzz from Wall Street Trader. Rhythm Buzz will win it over Wall Street Trader. Brad Rickman on commentary. Pretty skillful ride this by Javanil Patterson switching from off the rail into the three path for the win as the third favorite in the betting. The Piaget stables Rhythm Buzz two from two now in 2024 after his Bonnie Blue Flag trophy win in late January for trainer Vincent Atkinson. Rhythm Buzz six wins now in 18 lifetime starts. Scores by a length and a quarter over Wall Street Trader with a 51 to 1 outsider Money Monster third. The favorite Mamma Mia fading to fifth. 113 flat, the winning time for six furlongs. The Harry Jagai Memorial Trophy was a secondary feature, providing leading jockey Tevin Foster with one of four winners on the card, expertly displaying his front running skills with second time runner Shani Starr about to negotiate the final bend here. Shani Starr under a tight wrap leads up by some two lengths. Rack them now going in hot pursuit and cutting into that lead as they leave the 3 8 pole. The Soul Warrior race is up next. Brenda Boy hidden from view on the outside. Rock Holler has made good eye catching progress. The General in the All Black race is up next as they come thunder into the top of the lane. They're approaching the quarter pole and Shani Star attempts to go all the way and continues to deny them. Rack them in the green, racing toward the outside. Rockola now moving in between horses and Brenda Boy kicking in out wide but it is Shani Star out in front. Terrific. Tevin Foster, he's looking for a three-timer and it looks as if Shani Star will give it to him inside the final 16th. Shani Star is roaring away from them and will romp the Harry Jagai Memorial Trophy winning by maybe double digits. Inform Tevin Foster's second four-timer in six weeks, having a quadruple as well on the 3rd of February. He also won the 5th, 6th and 8th races on the card. He has not had a winless race day since late January and with 30 wins already this season, leads the jockey's table by nine. Albert Barrett's Shani Star as the 7-5 favourite gets the job done in the Harry Jagai maiden condition race for trainer Lawrence Fremantle, scoring by eight and a half lengths and stopping the clock at 122 and 1 fifth for six and a half furlongs. And finally, just over a week remaining in the Gulfstream Park Championship meet and the Barbadian Safi Joseph Jr. is closing in on a remarkable ninth consecutive trainer's title at the Florida racetrack. Four wins for the 37-year-old Joseph since our last show, the richest of those coming in Saturday's maiden special weight, 89,000 US dollar first race. His three-horse Dilger not expected to win here at 9-1 to odds, but with Tyler Gaffleon aboard, moving threateningly into third, watched in the com box by Peter Yellow. They run to the top of the stretch. Reynolds Channel certainly traveling the better of the two favorites at the 5 16th. Dilger launching an upset bid for Tyler Gaffleon. He's up into a joint second now, a quarter of a mile remains. Dilger tries to reach Reynolds Channel as Secret Crush is on the stretch. They went three quarters and 111 and one and they're at the top of the stretch. Dilger now blitzing on Reynolds Channel an eighth of a mile out. It's Dilger who takes command. Reynolds Channel tries to battle back third and coming on again is Secret Crush. They come past the 16th pole. It's Dilger in front. Now Secret Crush puts his mind to business. Secret Crush and Dilger's on a win photo. Fine ride by Tyler Gaffleone on the inside in the green cap. The narrow win here by a nose fending off the late charge of the even money favorite Secret Crush with Irador Tiz aboard. With over 2.4 million US dollars, Safi Joseph currently on the top 10 trainers list in all of North America at number 8. Dilger with the upset win by a nose at 9 to 1 odds, clocking 136.94 for a mile for Safi Joseph Jr., the Barbadian with 60 wins at the Gulfstream Park Championship meet, which closes month end. He's an unbeatable 27 clear of top American trainer Todd Pletcher in the title race. And before we go, I can report that at Guyana's Kennedy Memorial Turf Club over the weekend, the Canadian shipper, Stolen Money, a multiple winner at Woodbine, captured the feature race. Our usual weekly tally of wins now for Caribbean men in the USA before we go. In the past week, since our last show, I've counted 16 victories. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman with two wins at Charlestown. The Jamaican trainer Jason Acosta had a double at Mahoning Valley on Monday. He also won on Tuesday. The veteran Jamaican jockey Barrington Wasp Harvey, he had a double on Saturday at Los Alamitos. And the Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton had wins over the weekend at Gulfstream Park and Tampa Bay Downs. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. 
check us out again next week.